I'm just Thank checking so to move the line along. <laughs> and you've already registered and, and paid. So welcome to Kokum Skasik. And we would like to begin this day of our gathering together with an indigenous blessing from Lorenz Spears. So I'm going to ask her to come up and please do that for us this morning. Hello, good morning. Natasawis Makasini Pashao at Nahai Gansek, Natasawis Lorenz Spears at English at Ni Nahai Gansek Nahantek, Kanupiam at Aki at Nahai Gansek. And so, hello, good morning. Um, my traditional name is Makasini Pashao, which is the moccasin flower or the lady slipper, and my Americanized name, if you will, is Lorenz Spears. And I am Narragansett Niantic, and welcome to the homelands of the Narragansett people. And um, <clears throat> it's hard not to feel blessed looking out at this beauty that surrounds us, but I'm going to say it in Narragansett first, and then I'll say it in English second. Um, Namanatuman, Napiomen, Ingin Kisakwa, Nashbi, Nachikwanahi, Tahanoanash, Katabata Tamish Katantawa, Uchi Wami, Nawamani Tonk Natanksawak, Katabatash Katantawa, Uchi Ni Tampawak, Katabatash Katantawa, Uchi Nip Kan Kitan, Ka Namas, Ka Nepaus, Katabatash Katantawa, Uchi Wita, Katabatash Uchi Pshao, Katabatas Wuchi Atakwasad, Katabatas Katantua Nipaus, Ka Nanapashe, Ka Anakwasag, Katabatas Katantua Uchi Wupai, Katabatas Katantua Uchi Sokanun, Ka Kacha Usha, Ka Niempa Og, Katabatas Katantua Uchi Wami Wayania Wanakan. Wuni Tiawank, Katapatash Katantua, Wuchi Namani Namani Tonk Natanksawag, Katapatash Katantua Ninaj. So, what I said to you in my language is I said, um, thank you to the Creator for gathering us all here today uh, with quiet hearts and to give thanks for all the beauty that surrounds us. To give thanks for the waters and the ocean, the animals of the waters, the uh, the whales, because I always like the whales, and the fish, and uh, the turtles, and all the creatures of the waters, and to give thanks for the, the forests, and the animals of the forest, um, such as the deer, and the rabbit, and the turtle, and give thanks for um, all the beauty that surrounds us, give thanks for all of our friends and family, um, give thanks for the sun, the moon, the stars, the winds that blow, to give thanks for um, all our beloved relations. And in the idea of indigeneity, all your beloved relations are all living things. And our notion around language is we have things that are animate and living that Eurocentric language does not. And so for us, um, giving thanks for, for all the beauty that surrounds us, all the living things, um, all what is Nukasaki, the Mother Earth, um, is in this blessing. So then I said thank you uh, to the Creator again, and um, Ninaj, Amen, or let it be so. <clears throat> to finish this blessing, I would like to um, <clears throat> sing a song, and the song uh, literally means um, our ancestors, their spirits are washing over us. And um, when you think about this place that we now call Rhode Island, um, this place, Kokumsasik, our ancestors are here. Our ancestors traveled this land. Our ancestors are buried in places on this land. Our ancestors lived here for thousands upon thousands of years prior to European contact and prior to European conquest and settlement. Um, and our, our people are still here. You know, it's 400 or so years later and we're still here. Um, sometimes not as visibly as we once were um, with uh, millions of people now living in Rhode Island, but we're still here. Um, so this song... <clears throat> 
was actually written by our children. Chi- sorry, got tongue tied just then. The song was written by our tribal elders, and it's the idea of reminding everyone here that even though our language may not be fully fluent, it is still a continuing language. Um, the idea of new works being created is part of that continuation into the 21st century. Um, this song was written maybe about 10 or 12 years ago um, and has become very integral in our community during ceremony and to give um, memory and honor to those that came before us and those that were lost at Great Swamp during the massacre during King Philip's War. <clears throat> and to remind us that any wisdom that we have today has been passed down through them to us. And so we give thanks for them. Kuna and yes, Roger was here. He would himself write that the Narragansett sage from Canonicus laid me out bounds for a trading house at Narragansett with his own hands. We know that Williams was writing from Kokumskusik as early as 1638. It is estimated that Roger Williams actively engaged in business <coughs> at his trading house for 12 years and lived there here for at least six of them. He was the first to bring cattle to Kokumskusik, though his herd was limited in size. Uh, corn was an essential commodity in owning livestock and seems to have been scarce in the colony. It was likely at the time all being sent to Boston. Uh, in 1648, Williams wrote to Connecticut Governor John Winthrop Jr. to ask for his help in obtaining 100 bushels of corn from the Mohegan. The following year, he turned to Long Island procure his needed provisions, and Williams himself often paddled around Narragansett Bay in his canoe to find provisions for himself. In 1648, at Roger Williams' request, Governor Winthrop dispatched a herd of ten cattle from New London to Kokumskusik under the care of one William Peacock. Driving the cattle through the Niantic woods, the beasts scattered, and Peacock had to enlist the help of the Sachem Ninigret to help recover those they could. He arrived at Kokumskusik with six of the herd after seven days. 
Another three were recovered a few days later. Uh, after this episode, Williams wrote to Winthrop suggesting that a pen be built at the village of Niantic so that during future transactions and transports, they could keep cattle there at night. In his invaluable footnotes to the correspondence of Roger Williams, editor, editor Glenn LaFantasi writes that during the late 1640s, after serving as the chief officer and deputy president of Providence Plantations, he found refuge and solitude at his Cocomscusick trading post. Without cloister himself, cloistering himself, but often spending months at a time in solitude at Cocomscusick, Williams retired into the silent and reserved parts of his own nature, attempting to protect, whenever possible, his beloved privacy. Indeed, replying to John Winthrop Jr.'s inquiry as to a visit, he responded on, on April 7, 1649, Sir, I am sorry I have no boat to serve you or horse to serve you at this time. My canoe with a fair wind would quickly set you here with ease. We are dedicating the celebration of Roger Williams' life and work to the memory today of Nate Fuller. Nate was a past president of Cocomscusick and he tirelessly educated the public about the importance of Roger Williams and his connection to this very site. I did not have the privilege of knowing Nate Fuller, but I am sure that we have been good, we would have been good friends given our shared love of our history and the dedication that we both have to Cocomscusick. So as we go about our day learning about Roger's life and work and enjoy the beauty of this place and appreciate William's own love of Cocomscusick, take a moment, thank Nate and those like him who dedicate so much of their lives in preserving and presenting history to our visitors. We are indeed fortunate to have on hand a collection of scholars to share their knowledge of Roger Williams' life and work with us today. And please take note of the breakout sessions that you will attend in both the morning and afternoon. We will meet here again under the large tent for the keynote addresses. And dining areas have also been set up around the grounds for those who want to bring lunch uh, to those places. Uh, this day would not be possible without work of many volunteers and the generosity of the Friends of Smith's Castle, the North Kingstown Arts Council, uh, and all the uh, private donations that we received to put this day on today. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy the day and spend some time walking around our beautiful property and enjoy it. Thank you. I will see you back here at the tent at 11 o'clock for the keynote address. <laughs>